So today we're gonna talk about Capri air hammers. How are these? All right, folks, Brandon with Bearded CB82, and today we're back at it again. I know it's been a little while, been busy. Uh, tail end of summer came about. We had a whole bunch of state inspection stuff to do and uh, get everything ready for uh, start of one season, end of another season. So it's been uh, busy here in the shop. So a uh, little bit of nonstop stuff there for you. But today, since I've got time, we're going to talk about Capri Tools. Specifically, this guy and this guy. Now, we've already seen the uh, regular, bigger, three-quarter inch impact at play, and we know what that thing's more than capable of. And for the price tag, why would you try to go with something like Ingersoll Rand? Or, uh, yeah, just why? I mean, that thing's outlived and outperformed a lot of things in life, and uh, it's done quite a bit of stuff. So, on that note, the little guy, the 3 8 uh, also comes in a half inch palm impact. Now, I don't have too many videos of this thing just because the times when I have had to use this, it's been uh, let's get it fixed, let's get it going, let's get it back out on the road. I don't have time to set up cameras and stuff like that. But this uh, did prove quite interesting uh, putting an engine in my dad's truck. Uh, it's proved handy in here doing uh, engine work on some of the smaller vehicles, uh, 250s, uh, transport vehicles, things like that. Getting into some places where your standard stubby stands about that tall, and then you add the socket on top of that. Uh, for those tight little spots, this has been handy. This is the uh, CP33210 Charlie Paul. 33210 focus there we go so that's an option uh, automotive guys when you deal mostly automotive this would be handy now the half inch this was handy especially at the other place uh, airbags like up inside of trailers box trucks uh, flat betters things like that where you actually had to get up into the frame rails and change airbags. I should have some footage. What a beast. Stuff kind of builds up on there every once in a while. This was phenomenal for getting up inside the frame rails, just giving her a hit and they come apart, especially when you got to use like an inch and an eighth socket on some of those trailer airbags and components. This has been phenomenal. A few other spots she's been handy in, some engine work, things like that. Um, so sometimes you might have to get in there with a long handled ratchet and kind of break things free or heat things up, soak things down, see if they'll break free, 
then you can just get in there with this thing afterwards and just zip it the rest of the way off whatever it may be so this is the uh, Charlie Papa 33205 and see if she'll focus sort of all right yeah still working on the focus so handy uh, like I said trailer airbags flat betters things like that you got to get up in there this has been awesome now I've had a lot of questions about the nice three-quarter inch uh, she's seen some wear she's seen some fun she's been having at it it eats now how well does it eat take a look So, I think this thing runs around uh, close to the $400 price tag, but for a three-quarter inch, she's a beast. Why would you need anything else? That's another good question. Sure, there might be a couple other brands out there that have something similar, but I don't know if they've got a three-quarter inch. So, three-quarter inch, this baby just locks it. So, nice thing is, you got swivel handle on this this and it's 3 8 little brother swivel handle i've got this one set pretty tight at the moment so you can tighten this up fairly well it comes with a little bitty wrench so you can do that um or you just grab one out of your wrench drawer some bubble gum back there but you can pretty much get into there for a full 360 degree on the handle and 180 on the head that's where they come in really handy so you can uh, definitely get up in there preset it how you want turn your handle so your buttons out of the way there's no pesky locking like on um, here. Aha. Oh. these pain in the ass things that sometimes like this one works really well and then i've got another one Bear with me. Ah, yes. This one. This one is a pain in the ass. So you don't have any pesky locking switch like that. It means you do have to be a little bit mindful on how you want to go ahead and just start pressing your button. But like I said, you can make sure that it's out of the way of where your work area is so you don't knock it up against something accidentally. Come up in there, excuse me, and have at it. So, can I recommend them? Yes. Do I recommend all of them? Depends on what you're working on. Uh, the half inch, absolutely. Uh, medium duty, some heavy duty stuff. This will get into a lot of really pesky places, especially if you got to work on old junk trailers. Thank God I don't have to do that anymore. Uh, and 
get your components switched out. Airbags, like I said. Now, and if you're doing some axle work, framework, stuff that really needs the hammering, and uh, it'll do wheel nuts. I mean, come on. I mean, there's plenty of people out there that'll be like, oh, this thing's a beast, as I take off some, you know, half-ton Chevy truck lug nuts that are, you know, nothing compared to an actual truck wheel nut. Let's face it, this is a beast, and it will eat. That is what a beast is. So, oh, even with a quarter-inch air inlet, it's a beast. And you can always swap them out for some 3 8 It's up to you. But that's why I have an adapter hose. That and gives me a little bit more flexibility anyways, getting into certain places. I've got a swivel I can put on them if I want. So it's up to you on how you have your air rig set up. But if you really want something that'll actually do it, that's kind of towards this range, yeah, have at them. So until next time, remember, shop safety is just as important as firearm safety, folks. Go ahead and uh, check them out if you want. So you can find them on Capri Tools. And I'll also put, if there's uh, some on Amazon, I'll put the links down below as well. So other than that, y'all have a good day and have a good weekend. Thank <laughs> you.